Okay, shalom, shalom, shalom. I just want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Kwam Yasha'Allah, Hallelujah. This is Elder Barak from the House of David, the Mashara Yasha'Allah. Okay, coming to you on this uh, Shabbat. This is the Most High's High Holy Day, day the Shabbat, and uh, December 13th, Friday, December 13th, uh, the Shabbat. Uh, we just want to go over a few scriptures, all right? That the Most High has uh, showed us, uh, according to the scriptures, in these last days, what's going to happen. Okay, but before I go over that, uh, I just want to bring out again, all right, the 14th Hebrew Summit coming up in February 2020. In February, uh, from February 6th to the 9th, the 14th Hebrew Summit, okay, coming up in February, it'll be in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And we urge all the brothers, the sisters, everybody to uh, come to the 14th Hebrew Summit. And of course, we always discuss the, the pertinent issues uh, concerning our nation and how we can come together and what we need to do to come together as a unit, as one nation. These 12 tribes of Israel to come together as one nation under Hamashiach Yahushai. And as a nation, what does the scripture say that we need? What do we must do? How do we keep the law, statutes, and commandments in Yahushai, the high holy days? What do we must do? we got to come together in these last days in Hamashiach, Yahushai, because the Most High has shown us our enemies are dead set against us. So this is the 14th Hebrew Summit, okay? When they said the Hebrew Summits couldn't be done, when they had, there was a lot of negative, negative talk about it from the beginning, but we had our 14th Hebrew Summit. And um, it'll be in Fort Lauderdale, uh, Florida, in February, from February 6th to the 9th. And we urge everybody to come. You can also go on uh, the MasharaiAshaAllah.com, all right? And you can also find more information on the website, the MasharaiAshaAllah.com. And also, as you know, we have uh, the MasharaiAshaAllah YouTube and the MasharaiAshaAllah uh, Facebook page. So you can go on all those things and, and, and uh, get more information concerning the 14th Hebrew Summit. Okay, Kun? So with that, we want to just go a few scriptures. As you heard, uh, what happened in uh, Jersey City. Okay, in Jersey City, you had a shooting. About six people got killed or so. And they tried to, of course, blame it on Hebrew Israelites. How about that? And of course... That, uh, these last days, they're going to try to blame everything on us. They try to blame it on Hebrew Israelite camps. And why is that? Because now they want to make it appear that we are infamous, that we are criminals, that we are no good. Um, you know, in these last days, the Most High has shown us this is what our enemy is going to do. All right. The scripture says that we could be taken up in, in, in the lips of talkers. See, when, when the news came on, uh, and, and, and brought this information out that there was a shooting in Jersey City, uh, the first thing that they're going to try to say is that this man was uh, of one of the Hebrew Israelite camps. And of course, the Israelite camps, we as Israelites know that we are the real Jews and Hebrew Israelites. So of course, they're not going to like that. So now we, in the end now, we're closing in on the end, we're closing in on the time that the Most High is going to reveal it to the whole entire earth that we are the real Jews, the so-called Negro, West Indian, Haitian, Puerto Rican, North American Indian, uh, Mexican Indian, Seminole Indian, uh, the South American Indian, the Colombian Indian, uh, the Caribbean Indian, and so on and so forth. Our people are scattered throughout the whole earth. And the whole earth uh, is going to know, and the Most High is going to bring it out, that the, that the black men, the 12 tribes of Israel, or the so-called Negroes, Western and Haitian, Puerto Rican, scattered throughout North, South, Central America, and ultimately throughout the whole planet Earth. So, of course, they're going to try to blame it on uh, Hebrew Israelite camps and try to make you look bad throughout the whole earth. Try to make you look like a criminal throughout the whole earth. They also have it where uh, Hebrew Israelite camps are considered a hate group. Okay, the Southern Poverty Law Center has uh, considered. Uh, the Israelite camps, a hate group throughout America and so forth, which, you know, uh, we are not hate groups. The biggest hater in this earth is 
uh, the other nations and, of course, our enemies, uh, uh, the children of Esau, Edom, okay, which is which is the so-called white men. They're the biggest haters. But we know that these things are supposed to happen. So that's why we have to prepare ourselves and get ourselves uh, together as a nation so that we could uh, pretty much protect ourselves and protect our families from the onslaught that's going to come in these last days upon our people. Okay, and this is what's happening. But I just want to go with a few scriptures, all right? And these scriptures will prove to you and show you that they are totally against our people, okay? Totally against you. In these last days, they're going to bring out all kinds of accusations, infamous things. Uh, uh, they're going to bring out things that make you to our people appear like they're criminals, especially the Israelite camps and make us think that we're criminals and everything. And so that's to put a bad light in the, our people's minds that are out there that are not really necessarily into the truth yet or have the understanding that the Hebrew Israelites yet. And of course, they're going to try to make it appear, uh, especially to the other nations, that we are criminals, that we are bad people. Okay. But the most I show you that this was going to happen in these last days. And as you read, uh, we're going to read in um, Ezekiel 36. Here's what it says. Okay. Ezekiel 36 says this. Also thou son of man, prophesy unto the mountains of Israel and say, Ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Mosai. So the Mosai says hear. And he's talking about mountain also represents government. He's talking about the government, the leadership. All right, of Israel. All right, hear this word. Okay, as a nation, we're supposed to hear the Most High's commandment, commandments and His law, statutes, and commandments. We're supposed to hear it. Okay, and then He says, "Thus saith the Most High, because the enemy, all right, the enemy have said against you. Who's this enemy? All the Gentile nations are enemies. All right, to our people." When the Mosai says enemy, he means all the other nations because the enemy and primarily so-called white folk, because they're the ones running this earth now, because the enemy have said, aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession. Okay. Even the ancient high places, what ancient high places they're talking about? Okay. They're talking about your, your land, Mount Zion, Israel, Jerusalem. That's the land they're talking about. So they even uh, got possession of our ancient high places of Jerusalem. And so this is what they're saying. They're saying, aha, now we have it. So they're making mockery of us. They have us in slavery, and now they have our land. So we are a nation in exile in another man's land under another man's government, under another man's military and language and so forth. So they're saying, aha, we have your land and we have you in captivity. This is what they're saying. Okay. And it says this. Therefore prophesy and say, thus saith the Mosai, because they have made you desolate. They have made Israel, our people, the so-called Negro, Western Haitian, Puerto Rican, desolate because they have made you desolate, meaning without what? Without understanding of your nationality, without understanding of your language and without understanding of what land you come from and without understanding of your heritage, of your genealogy. So they have made you desolate, okay? So they make mockery of our people. The leaders of this society make mockery of our people every day. You go to colleges, you go to, you go to uh, uh, schools of learning, but you still have not come to the understanding of yourselves, of who you are and where you come from as a people, as a nation of people. Okay? So it says, they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side. So we're swallowed up on every side here in America and throughout the Americas and the Caribbean. We're swallowed up on every side with no knowledge or understanding of who we are. Okay? And then it says, that ye might be a possession. Yeah, we are a possession unto them. Okay? Now, some of you may think, okay, but we're not a possession anymore. Slavery is over with. No, slavery is not over with. Okay? 
You're you're more now in slavery than you were back when you in, in, in as a slave on on the on, on cotton fields in the South. You're you're more of a slave now because now you're more ignorant. Okay, you don't know who your enemy is now. At least back then when we were in slavery, we understood who the enemy was. Now we don't even know. We don't even have a clue. And we think we have nice white friends and, and nice friends of the Gentile nations. They're not your friends. The Mosai says your enemy. Okay? The Mosai said the enemy has said against you. The enemy. If the Mosai and the Heavenly Father and Yahushai calls them an enemy, how come we going to come around and call them our friends and call them nice white friends and so forth? The Mosai is against that. If he called them an enemy, then they are your enemies. Okay? And they said that ye, uh, the Mosai said that ye might be a possession unto them, unto the residue of the heathen. So the heathen have us in possession. And so we're still held captive. We're still a slave. We have a slave mentality now. So it's still there. Okay? And the generations, the generations of our people that came out of uh, slavery, all right? That mentality, that's why the scripture says, Oh Israel, are you a home-born servant? We're still home-born servants, okay, in this society. So we still have to have the understanding that we got to come from that slave mentality and return back to the Mosai and return back and become a nation, all right, a free people under the Mosai and Yahushua. We have to understand that. And, all, and the free people have to do what? Return back to the Heavenly Father in righteousness. That's how you become free. Return back to the Most High in righteousness. Not doing what you want to do. Not accepting some other religion or some other nationality that's not yours. You can't return back to the Most High as an Egyptologist and expect Yahweh Shai to accept you. You can't return back to the Heavenly Father as a Pan-Africanist and expect the Heavenly Father to accept you. And you can't return to the Heavenly Father as a Christian and expect the Heavenly Father to accept you. It doesn't work like that. You've got to return back as to who you are and how the Heavenly Father created you to be. And that's a Hebrew Israelite. And this is what we have to understand. So it says that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen. And that's what we are. We're still a possession. Okay. And ye are taken up. Listen to this now. Ye are taken up in the lips of talkers. Who are these talkers? Okay. And this is also, Ezekiel is also seeing a vision and, a, and a, a future prophecy that we as a people are taken up in the lips of talkers. So when they get on ABC News or NBC News or CBS News or even cable news, CNN, and they uh, talk about the welfare of our people and what's happening to our people in the ghettos and slums and the projects throughout America. All right, that we are taken up in the lips of talkers. You get these news people, and all, all they do is talk about and denigrate and downgrade uh, what our people are going through. That's all they do. And that's to cast a bad light on our people as a nation. And this is what's happening. So when that when that shooting happened in Jersey City, and this supposedly this brother killed. Uh, six people and 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 this woman, all right, and his name was David Anderson, uh, and the woman that was with him supposedly shot up this uh, Jewish store and killed all these people. You'd never even seen the brother. They didn't show pictures of the brother or uh, shooting up the store, so you don't know if it was him or not. Yeah, they they, they got a picture of him, but you don't know if that was him actually doing the shooting. So. You don't know anything, so that they could be making up lies. You don't know. But again, they're using this to cast a bad light on the Hebrew Israelite camps throughout America. And they group us all to as one, as one. All the camps as one. They know their differences in the camps, the Hebrew Israelite camps, all right? And that not all Hebrew Israelite camps are violent. All right. Not all Hebrews like camps uh, want to go shoot up stores and kill people. They know this. 
But of course, they got control of the media. They got control of the newspapers. They got control of the news programs. And they're going to put what they want. But they do know, ultimately, that the so-called black man and the uh, so-called black man, West Indian, Haitian, Puerto Rican, are all Hebrew Israelites. Whether we know it or not, they know that. So whether this brother actually knew he was a Hebrew Israelite or didn't know, but they know ultimately that we're all Hebrew Israelites. And ultimately, we all uh, are children of the Most High and chosen of the Heavenly Father. So they know that. But by using this incident, they are now trying to cast a bad light on the Hebrew Israelite camps. And it's, and it's wicked as hell. So we are taken up in the lips of talkers and are an infamy of the people. Listen to that. We're infamy. That means infamy meaning uh, uh, is a bad light is casted upon you amongst the people. And so the people look at us now as the Hebrews are like camps. Uh, all they have to do is kill and, and hate speech and want to uh, hurt people. We're a terrorist organization. So now we're infamous amongst the people. But that's okay. Because uh, Yahweh Shai, he's a black man with woolly hair. And he's coming to destroy this society. And coming to redeem, all right, the remnant of our people who return back to Yahweh Shai in righteousness. So they can call us whatever they want. It don't matter. It does not matter with the most High. does not matter. See, so, but this is what they're trying to do. And so this is why, uh, as Hebrew Israelite camps, and we understand that we're the Hebrews, we understand we're Israelites, this is why the Most High said in his last days in Yahweh, uh, forsake not the coming together in unity, because that's what's going to uh, set us apart. Us helping one another, us uh, bearing one another's burdens and coming together in righteousness, that's what's going to set us apart in Yahweh Shai. So that's why uh, these Hebrew Israelite camps, that's why we have the Hebrew summits, so that we can try to come together as a government like the Mosai teaches us, because that's what's coming. Okay, this government of Yasha Allah that Yahweh Shai is bringing us, the scripture says it's going to be upon his shoulders. He's going to be the leader. He's going to be the general. He's going to be the captain. He's going to be the redeemer and the savior of the nation. He's the king. He's the one running this nation. That's what we got to realize. So no matter what they say or how infamous they try to make us see, appear, it does not matter. Okay? So this is what they were trying to do uh, when they, when they uh, said this Jersey City shooting all right, and try to make it appear like all the Hebrew Israelite camp, this brother came from a Hebrew Israelite camp and was uh, shooting up shooting up people and killing people. And then apparently he got killed in the shooting and the woman got killed in the shooting. But this is what we have to understand. This is what they're going to do. And in these last days, as we head towards the trials and tribulations of this society and what's come, the tribulation period, they're going to do this more and more and more. Okay, they're going to do it more and more and more. And we realize that. Okay, so then it says this, right? Uh, that ye are taken up in the lips of talkers, all right? The people in the news media, all right? The news, the news and how they write the news, okay? They have control of it, all right? So they're going to say what they want about you. And are an infamy amongst the people. The people talk about us in a bad light. Who are these black people? Who are these black men that say that they are descendants of the Hebrew Israelites? Who are they? Why are they saying this? Okay. And another reason why we're saying this is because we know the imposters over there in, in Israel are not the real Jews. This is why we say this, because according to the Bible, it proves that. We know this. Okay. But listen to this now. In the fourth verse, uh, Ezekiel 36 and 4 says this, Therefore, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of Yahweh. Thus saith Yahweh, 
to the mountains and to the hills, to the rivers and to the valleys, to the desolate waste and to the cities that are forsaken. So what is that talking about? That's talking about not America. That's talking about not South America, not the Caribbean. That's talking about where we come from as a people. That's talking about Israel. The Mosiah classifies Israel as a desolate waste right now. So what? You got the other nations over there. You got Esau over there. You got the, you got the uh, 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 Ishmael over there. Other nations over there. The Mosiah still classifies as a desolate waste. Why? Because the true people are not over there. The true people are not over there. So the Mosiah classifies as a desolate waste. Until we get back over there, then the Mosiah is going to classify it as uh, uh, the city of joy. All right. The city of peace. Jerusalem. All right. Until we get back over there. Okay. Then it says, uh, which became a prey and a derision. Okay. The cities, the city of David, the tabernacle of David, Jerusalem, Israel, became a prey and a derision to the residue of the heathen. Okay. That are round about. So the heathen have taken Israel over. The true people are not there. So why is the most I seen this? How come they don't read this in, in, in the church systems? Why is the most I saying this? Because the true people are not over there. And so they know this. And so this is why they're going to try to cast a bad light on the Hebrew Israelite cast because they know the truth is coming out every day. Okay. Therefore, thus saith the Mosai, surely in the fire, in the fire of my jealousy, have I spoken against the residue of the heathen. The Mosai said, in the fire of his jealousy, he has spoken against the residue of the heathen. So th they know this. They know this scripture. All right. The top rabbis in this society, they know this scriptures. They are the heathen. They are the, the heathen that the most is mad at. And they know Yahweh is coming to destroy them. They know this. Okay. And it says, uh, I have spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Edomia. Who is Edomia? Well, read the history. Edomia is just a Greek word for Edom. And who are the Edomites? Well, Edom means red. Well, who are the red people? Okay. The red people are, is the so-called white man or Caucasian man. All right. He is Edomia. He is the children of Edom. So why does the Mosai separate the heathen uh, from Edomia, from Edom? Showing you the Mosai is specific in what he's saying. Against all the residue of the heathen and all Edomia. He said all the Edomites. All of them. So this is Ezekiel 36 and 5. Against all. He's not going to leave some. All. Okay. All Edom. Edomia. Which have appointed my land. What is the Mosai's land? Israel. Jerusalem. Mount Zion. They have appointed the Mosai's land into their possession. Okay. To their possession. And then it says with joy of all their heart with despiteful minds. So what is the most I saying here? They took over Jerusalem and we know in 1948 with the UN mandate, they stole and took over Jerusalem, Israel. We know it goes all the way back to when in 70 AD, when Titus, the Roman general destroyed us in 70 AD and we were dispersed throughout the earth in captivity. But you bring it up to date now in 1948. All right. The UN, the British mandate stated that uh, these so-called uh, imposter Jews, uh, so-called uh, Jews, Israelis, Jewish people could uh, take over the land of Israel and claim it to be their state, the state of Israel. Okay. That's what happened. And so the Mosai is saying what? 
with despiteful minds they did this. Meaning, out of spite, they were able to take over the land and, and still have our people in slavery and in captivity with no knowledge of who they are. Out of spite, they did this. Despiteful minds. Okay? Then it says to cast it out for a prey. See? To cast it out for a prey. And so now, where is our people? We are cast out as a prey Okay, of, of all nations, all nations prey on our people. So this is what we got to understand. So when you uh, check out the facts of the Jersey City shooting, out of spite, out of despite, they're going to sit there and cast a bad light on the Hebrew Israelite camps. This is what they're doing because they know they're near their end. And so this is why we have to wake up and come together as a people, okay? So, now when you jump across the page in Ezekiel 35 and 10, okay, how do we know that it's talking about, um, that it's talking about what Edomia, what the most I said Edomia took over the land out of despiteful mind? So what land is it talking, out, talking about? And in the 10th verse, in Ezekiel 35 and 10, it says this, because thou hast said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine. All right. These two nations and these two countries shall be mine and we will possess it. Whereas the Lord was there. So what is Edomia? Edom. What are they saying? They're saying these two nations and these two countries shall be mine. Okay. So one, that they're talking about Israel. They're talking about the, the, the state of Israel. They're talking about your land, Israel, Jerusalem, Mount Zion. And also, you can bring it now to America. Okay? So when, when, when Columbus and the, the, the uh, conquistadors and the Spanish explorers came here, who did they find? Israelites. They found Israelites here. So they're saying America was going to be theirs too. And they're saying Pal Palestine, Israel, Jerusalem was going to be theirs. And so this is what they're saying. And so, but they did it out of despiteful minds. So this is why it's high time for us to wake up and recognize we got to come together. That's all we have left is Hamashiach Yahusha. We have to come together. Okay. And so, uh, I just want to uh, go to Psalm 71 and 10. And this is what it says here. 71 and 10 says this. Psalm 71 and 10. Uh, it says, for mine enemies speak against me. This is David. David is saying this. My enemies speak against me and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together. How about that? David is saying this, and now you bring it up to date. David is saying this in the spirit that is enemies. And today, it's the same thing going on. We're the children of King David. Okay? And what? For my enemies speak against me. See? So, when the Jersey City shooting happened, the enemy taken up in the lips of talkers, the news media, speak against us. Against the Hebrew Israelite camps, okay? And they that lay wait for my soul, they take counsel together. So they knew what they were doing. They knew uh, that they were going to uh, cast this bad light, this, this, this sinister, evil-looking way against the Hebrew Israelite camps. They knew what they were doing. Yet, this brother more than likely wasn't even part of a Hebrew Israelite camp anymore when you read the facts. Okay? Read the facts. Okay? So we're going to and we're going to read some of the facts, okay, in a few minutes. So this is why the Mosai teaches us uh to come together in unity. Okay? And then I'm going to read Jeremiah 15 and 5 and it says this. Jeremiah 15 and 5 says this. In these last days, this is what's going to happen. 
says, for who, okay, for who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? So you got to realize uh, when these, when these, when the news media and this society, all right, and and um, their their church systems, their uh, police state. Uh, when they come against us, when they come against us, they're not going to have no pity. They're military. They're not going to have no pity upon you. When they destroyed Israel, read the scripture, they destroyed us in ancient times. And then when they came against us, Moses says they had no pity on the young, no pity on our woman, no pity on our elderly. They didn't care. Same thing's going to happen in these last days. That's why the scripture says concerning Jacob's trouble. And that's coming. Jacob's trouble is coming. This is why we got to come together. Okay, We're only going to have ourselves. We're going to have Hamashiach Yahushai, faith in Hamashiach Yahushai and ourselves. That's all we're going to have. So it says, for who shall have pity upon thee, O Jerusalem? Or who shall bemoan thee? They don't, they're not going to cry for you. You got you got all our all our children, all these thousands of our children missing. And there's not even no news coverage, no media coverage of it at all. But let a so-called white person be missing, or a white child be missing. There's all kinds of news coverage. But for us, nobody cares. So this is why we have to begin to care. But the most high wants us to return back to him in righteousness. In keeping his law, statute, and commandments. So it says, who going to bemoan thee? Or who shall go aside to ask how thou doest? They don't care how you doing. They don't care. We have to begin to care. Okay? Then it says, uh, thou hast forsaken me, saith the Most High. Thou art gone backward. Therefore will I stretch out my hand against thee and destroy thee. I am weary with repenting. Okay? So the Most High is showing us that he's doing this to us. So when these things happen, uh, and, they, and they put out the false statements and the false uh, stories in this Jersey uh, City shooting and the different things that's happening in the news media concerning our people, and they're false, okay? The Most High has this happening, Okay? Why, does, why do they continue to show hatred towards our people? Because the most side says that they're going to hate us. They're supposed to hate us as a people. They are supposed to. Okay? And then it says in the seventh verse, And I will fan them with a fan in the gates of the land. I will bereave them of children. See? The most side said, talking about Israel, that the most side is, is saying he's going to bereave us of our children. He's going to allow the enemy to come in, okay, to come into our, where we live in these cities here in America and so forth, and bereave of, uh, us of our children. That's why our children are missing and can't be found. Black women are missing all across the country and can't be found, all right? Can't be found like they fell off the face of the earth somewhere. Can't be found. All right, this is what the Mosai said. So why does the Mosai allow this? The, only the Mosai can allow this. Only the Mosai. With thousands of our children and black women and, and uh, young men are missing and getting shot up in the streets and so forth. Only the Mosai can allow. So this is why it's high time for us to wake up and come together. Okay? The only way we're going to get power the only way we're going to uh, have that uh, spiritual protection in Yahweh shot is if we come together. And it must be on one accord. This is what the Hebrew summits are about, the Masharah, Yasha Allah, government of Israel, come together as a government. Okay? So it says, and I will, again, seventh verse, and I will fan them with a fan in the gates of the land. I will bereave them of children. So the black woman's crying, where are my children at? Who kidnapped my child? 
All right. Where where are these young where are these young black women are going? Where they can't be found. Where are they going? I will bereave them of children. I will destroy my people. And the most I said I will destroy my people. That's the so-called Negro, West Indian, Haitian, Puerto Rican. All over this earth, these things are happening. Why? Why is the Most High allow it? Because we got to begin to return back to the Most High righteousness, according to what this Bible is talking about. Okay, according to what Yahweh Shai is talking about, we got to turn back in unity and righteousness and keep His law, statute, commandments. These are why these things are happening. Because we're not doing that. The Most High classifies as a stubborn people, a stiff-necked people. Okay. Bowing down the idols, about going to these different church systems, which mean us no good. They don't help us anyway. Because if we were going to be helped by the church systems, the religions of the world, it would have happened by now. Ain't nothing happening by now. We're still in the same condition as we were when we came out of slavery, pretty much. Okay, so it says this. I will destroy my people since they return not. They return not from their ways. And so you're asking why these things happen. This is why. Because we don't return back to the Most High. See? So the Most High is allowing some of these things to happen. So we as Israelites and we have Israelite camps in every city throughout America. And they group us pretty much all the same. They know we're not all the same, okay? But they, they pretty much, they're going to group us all the same. The common folk out there don't know any better. So when they say Hebrew Israelites are terrorist organization, they look, us, look at us all as terrorist organizations. But the true terrorist is, is this government. That's the true terrorist. Okay? So uh, as we continue... Uh, in, in the Apocrypha, all right, in Baruch, in the Apocrypha, in Baruch 1, and the ninth verse says this, okay, Baruch 1 and, uh, 1 and 19, it says this, since the day that Yahweh brought our forefathers out of the land of Egypt. Unto this present day, we have been disobedient. This is what the Mosai is saying now, right? Unto this, from the, from the time we came out of Egypt as a people, unto this present day, the Mosai is saying, we have been disobedient. See, we have been disobedient. Unto Yahweh our power, and we have been negligent in not hearing his voice. Negligent. And not hearing his voice. That means we're not doing what Hamashiach, the Mashiach, teaches us in the Bible what to do. We're not doing it as, as a nation, together as a nation. So this is why the Most High has these things happen to us. So that's why it's high time for us to come together as a people. Okay? It's high time for us to come together as a people. And then when we go to uh, Baruch 2, and the 30th verse says this. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their 